Annie, thank you very much. Speaking of what's going on, the deadline to file your tax returns just around the corner. If you haven't done so yet, this weekend is a really good opportunity to get them done. That is if you don't plan on filing an extension. Two News Oklahoma's Douglas Braff joining us now with a reminder of what all you need to do. Douglas, good morning. Corey, Justin, good morning. Everybody's tax forms will look different. You might already know these, but here are the three most common that you'll most likely file. Probably the biggest one is the almighty W-2, the wage and tax statement from your employer. Uh, if you worked more than one job in 2023, it's important to note that you'll need to request and file W-2s from each employer. And then there is the 1098, and that's for people with a mortgage or a student loan uh, loan interest. And then the last one is the 1099 form, and that's for business owners or people who have earned any interest from stocks or investments. But what if you're in a scramble and need some extra time? Well, there's no need to worry. You can file an extension, and to do that, you need to file form 4868. While this will give you until October 15th to complete your 2023 taxes. It's important to emphasize that this only pushes back the deadline to send your documents. The IRS, on the other hand, still expects you to pay your tax bill by Monday. Lastly, if you're filing your taxes online, use a tax filing service that friends or family have referred to you and make sure you're on a secure Wi-Fi network. So it's probably best to avoid filing taxes at your local coffee shop. In the studio, Douglas Braff, 2 News, Oklahoma.